Jimmy had two types of bottles, large and small. He filled three large bottles and seven small bottles with 10.5 litres of the drink that he made, which means that three bottles plus seven small bottles equals to 10.5 litres of water. Now, with the remaining drink, which means that he has some excess drink, he said that he could not fill another large bottle because he was short of 0.3 litres, which means that his remaining drink need 0.3 more litres to completely fill up a large bottle. Then he said that with his remaining drink, he filled another small bottle and he was left with 0.6 litres left. So, they are asking for how many litres of drink did the large bottle hold more than a small bottle, how many litres of drink did a small bottle hold. Now, at this point of time, they realize that the amount of information that you get over here, you all need to do something to the information before you all can even tackle the question. It's precisely because you all do not have enough information over here, that's why you all cannot even strategize to come up with a question, uh, to answer the question. So, how do we actually bridge this gap from the information here to answer the question? Just draw a model. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to draw the model for this one. So he mentioned that there are three bottles, three large bottles and seven small uh, bottles, right? Now, let's just draw a... One, two, three. Okay, and seven small bottles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And total here will be 10.5 liters of water of drink now he mentioned that with his remaining drink he could not fill another large bottle because he was short of 0.3 okay so i'm going to draw a separate large bottle over here and then i'll say that for his remaining drink he cannot fill it up because he was lacking 0.3 liters of water of drink then he said that, however, with this amount of water, he could fill another small bottle left and had 0.6 liters left. So if I were to draw another small bottle, okay, he said that he could fill this up, but he would have an excess of 0.6 liters of water. So this model will clearly exemplify this um, statement. So he said that with the remaining drink, he could not fill up another large bottle. See, he could not fill up because the large model is this big. But he only filled up the shaded region and he was short of 0 0.3 so that's why i said that there's a space of 0 0.3 over here however he said that he could actually fill up another small bottle so this would be the small bottle and then he had 0 0.6 left over so this is the amount that was left over which is 0 0.6 so the question is actually asking for how many liters of drink did the large bottle hold more than a small bottle this entire thing is the large bottle this shaded part um this shaded part is the small model is the small is the small bottle so the excess will obviously be this and this this is how much more that the large bottle can hold more than a small bottle which is why i asked you to separate the model okay so for part a just take 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 and that will give us 0 0.9 liters which means that each of the large bottle can hold 0 0.9 liters more than the small bottles okay now so from here I can actually write, because I have a small bottle over here, I got a large bottle over here. So I can just say that from here to here is 0 0.9 liters. Okay, okay, it's a bit small, but I actually wrote 0 0.9 liters. I just want to show how much bigger the large bottle is compared to the small bottle. So they're asking about how many liters of drink did a small bottle hold. If all these are 0 0.9, which means that this one is 0 0.9, and then like this one will be 0 0.9, and this one will be 0 0.9 each of them is 0 0.9 0 0.9 0 0.9 now imagine what if i take this total which is 10.5 liters i minus three sets of 0 0.9 i minus here okay left with one small bottle i minus here i'm left with one small bottle i'm minus here i'm left with one small bottle so if i take 10.5 minus three sets of 0 0.9 how many small bottles do i have i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i have ten small bottles Okay, so from here for part B, I can write 10 small bottles would be 10.5 liters minus 3 sets of 0 0.9, minus 3 times 0 0.9. So 3 times 0 0.9, that will give us 2.7 liters. So it will be 10.5 minus 2.7 liters. So what would that give us? So we can just throw that figure inside a calculator. So 10.5 minus 2.7, that will give us 7.8 liters of water. Now, 10 small bottles can hold 7.8 liters of water. They are asking for how many liters of drink did a small bottle hold. So, one small bottle, wouldn't that just be 
divided by 10 which will give us 0 0.78 liters so this is actually how you get the answer so previously remember I told you all whatever information that you all get inside here okay that there, there might be some question where you all find it very difficult to link this part to the question so in the case that you all find this very hard to link you all find it very hard to link the, the information to the question so what you all do draw a model draw a model to visualize it even more carefully once you can visualize it a little bit more carefully, you can start doing your working. So it's usually step 1 reading, step 2 trying to get more information from the information here, step 3 start doing the working. Okay, do not skip step 2 and then just go from the information here and go to the working. Most likely or not, you are either going to make mistakes or your number is not going to be accurate. Alright, done.